Hello friends, welcome to Mluka IS. Today we would be discussing upon a very important topic of art and culture. The topic is Indian music. It's a very very important topic from where n number of times the questions have been asked and we will be trying to discuss to cover it comprehensively so that the questions which are coming they are being answered in a comparatively simpler format or simpler way. Indian music ke baare mein ajam padenge. When you talk about the history of Indian music, it is because, uh, can be seen, can be known from basically the earliest Indian music, the Samved. It is the various shlokas that were there, shlok the lag lag, they were basically put into music form. Bharat Muni, Natya Shastra, hum pehle hi kar chuke hain, they are basically deals exclusively with performing of arts. Matanga, Brihadesi, Ragas were basically the first named and discussed. Jaydev ki Geet Govind jo book hai, that, that, that is basically depicting the love of Lord Krishna and Radha. Ibrahim Adil Shah II, Kitab, Kitab e Navras, very very important. It basically the songs have been written in praise of Hindu deities and Muslim saints. Prandarika Vittal, that is Rangamala, a book very important. Avinav Gupta wrote Avinav Bharati, very important. Somdev, very very important. Wrote Katha Krit Sagar, very important. Srangdev, very very important. Wrote Sangeet Ratnakar. So therefore, various important sources are there even in the ancient times, leave apart the modern, modern and the medieval times. And they have been trying to express the music the way the people have been living. In the time of the medieval period, the, in the classical music basically can be seen in the context of Amir Khusro. In the Mughal court, when you talk about it, it is Tan Sen who was there. And he was one of the jewels of Akbar in his court. Other important poet saints who have made great contribution, for example, in the local or vernacular language also. For example, the lyrics of Surdas, Tulsidas, Kabir, Mirabai, they are continuously being popular among the people of the country. Panani made the first reference of the art of making music. It is Ashtadhyayi. In the Vedic literature, ki jab karte, it is a Sam Ved which contains the reference of the art of making music. The ritualistic music which focused upon chanting of the verse that are basically set to musical patterns called Sangam. Even the epics which are there, they are set to narrative music that is Jatigan. There are various main pillars of Indian music that is rag, tal and swar that is very very important. Swar means note or scale degree basically in composition. When you talk about Natya Shastra, the Bharata has divided the swars into 22 note scales. Currently, the national system of Hindustanic music is basically defined in various swars that is Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Da, Ni, Sa. Jo bhi aap music sunte hai, it is basically revolved around these various swar only. Rag. Rag basically form the basis of the melody. And Tal. It basically form the basis of the rhythm. Kis tarikhe se melody hai, us pe kis tarikhe se rag hai. Tal means the rhythmic group of beating, that is Tal. The rhythmic cycle basically ranges from 3 to 108 beats. The theory of time measurement is uh, not similar to Hindustani or Carnatic music. The tempo of Tal keeps its uniformity of the time span and is called Laya. Ras means the reason behind the creation of rag is basically to invoke the emotions of the audience. These emotions are basically invoked through singing and playing of the instruments called as ras. There are nine ras that are there. 
rasas third presently in the hindustani classical music 10 third system basically of classification have been adopted next is samay each rag is basically performed on a specific time and that has to be known by the 16th century the division of hindustani that is the northern indian style and the carnatic music that is southern indian style was being sharply created classical music may be either instrumental or vocal dono hindustani or carnatic ke liye same cheez hai they are basically developed from a common ancestor the carnatic music basically originated in the bhakti movement and the hindustani music basically originated during the vedic period and both of them therefore they have a very great linkage with religion the main vocal forms of hindustani music are basically drupad khyal tarana thumri dadra and ghazal on the other hand the carnatic music will be embracing other creativity which comprise of alapana niravel kalpana swaram and ragam thana pallavi these are basically uh, the creativity which comprise of the carnatic music the, there are two categories of the classical music which are there the hindustani music and the carnatic music hindustani basically northern part of india is it is not only influenced by the hindu musical traditions but also by the persian performance of the practices of the moguls also on the other hand the carnatic music is found predominantly in the peninsular region is hindustani music and the carnatic music in this region the differences which are there jo aapko pata hona chahiye between the hindustani and the classical music in north india in south india ragas are divided into thatt as per the system the ragas are divided into melkarta as per the system in hindustani music the time of singing of each rag is strictly observed and according to time only no time theory is followed by any rag basically in the carnatic music north india mein it is various gharana system that are there but yahan pe koi bhi gharana classification nahi hai hindustani it is equally divided between vocal and instrumental music yahan pe it is more inclined to world vocal music although the instrumental music is also practiced improvisation is given more in importance yahan pe competition ko jyada importance diya jata hai the shruti concept is not practiced in detail over here the shruti concept is practiced in detail and a lot of emphasis is being given on this concept there are certain similarities that are there between these two school both are basically the principal prominence of melody which is being focused upon both one leading swar or vadi swar is there in both the rag both they used a sampurna scale with all the seven notes basically to describe a janak thad or rag to make janya rag both are also use a tantapura or a drone with one or two note basically to signify the pitch and the bass in the rag version talking about hindustani music it was vishnu digambar pulaskar and vishnu narayan batkhande who played a very important role in spreading this hindustani music the types of hindustani music and its meaning that are there very very simple and yahan se question kai bar aa chuka hai aapko acche se karta karwate hain basically drupad drupad is a old style of hindustani singing the great indian musician for example tanseen was very much expert in it drupad was the main form of northern indian style but now it has given way to khayal it which is it is an effort of vocal cords and lungs very very important 
when talk about khyal it is a form of the vocal music very important adopted from the medieval persian music and therefore based upon improvising and expressing the emotions another vocal form is tarana is medium to fast paced tarike se hum song gaaye jate hain usko bolte hain tarana next is tappe it is a form of indian semi classical vocal music that is very much popular for example among the camel riders of punjab earlier मियाँ गुलाम नबी शोरी एंड अदर थिंग्स द क्विकली टर्न ऑफ द फेज इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट किस तरीके से हम इम्प्रोवाइज करके नेक्स्ट मूव करेंगे क्विक टर्न होगा टप्पा में दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ठुमरी बेसिकली सेमी क्लासिकल वोकल दैट एव विगन इन उत्तर प्रदेश एंड लिरिक्स आर बेसिकली टिपिकली इन द ब्रज भाषा एंड दे आर यूजली रोमेंटिक रोमेंटिक रिलीजियस लिटरेचर को करते हैं गजल ओरिजिनली पर्शियन फॉर्म क्या है इन इंडिया गजल बिकेम मोस्ट कॉमन फॉर्म ऑफ पेट्री बेसिकली इन द उर्दू लैंग्वेज नेक्स्ट इज दमर द प्ले ऑफ कृष्णा ड्यूरिंग होली नेक्स्ट इज भजन रिलीजियस डिवोशनल सॉन्ग शब्द सिख रिलीजियस सॉन्ग शब्द बोलते हैं कवाली Indo Muslim repertories of songs which are sung in the groups Kavali. Various instruments which are there, you should. थोड़ा सा बस पता होना चाहिए ज़्यादा नहीं पूछेंगे. It is pakwaj, sitar, shahnai, tabla, dilruba, santur, sarod, tanpura, harmonium, swar mandal, vansuri, and sarangi. These are various instruments which are used. पर्सनैलिटीज एसोसिएटेड विद इम्पॉर्टेंट पर्सनैलिटीज विद हिंदुस्तानी म्यूजिक आर भीम सेन जोशी पंडित यशराज मलिक अर्जुन मंसूर बेगम परवीन सुल्तान कुमार गंधर्व सिद्धेश्वरी देवी गंगूबाई हंगल एंड गिरजा देवी दे आर इम्पॉर्टेंट पर्सन फॉर एसोसिएट विद दिस म्यूजिक नेक्स्ट इज कार्नेटिक म्यूजिक It basically a system of music commonly associated with the southern part of the country, especially Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and Karnataka. It is a complete melody with improvisation variations would be there, but improvisation will be comparatively less, and the focus will more be on composition. One of the important person associated with it is Purandar Das. He had made a great contribution for the development of Carnatic music. it is usually performed by a small ensemble of musicians consisting of the principal vocalist a violin brindanga mridanga and tamburu who would be there tamburu important elements of the carnatic music jo aapko pata hona chahiye it is shruti that refers to a musical pitch kis tarike se hoga swar means the type of the musical sound that is a single note which defines a relative position of a note rather than defining the frequency a rag basically a rag in carnatic music is prescribed to set of rules for building a melody tal it refers to the beats that are basically set for a particular competition a measure of time important instruments that they are used are tavil veena morsing shruti box khanjira nadaswaram cymbals mridagam flute tambura gatam harmonium and violin they are basically being used various features which are there associated with the rag system are for example prominent styles with it are gitam it is basically the simplest type of the composition taught to the beginners gitam suladi means similar to gitam but thoda sa high standard ho jata hai swar jati basically learnt after the course of gitam basically the varnams are being learned the way of for learning the varnams the themes are comparatively devotional heroic and armorous that are there varnam is basically performed 
at the beginning of the concert and it is a complete composed piece next is jati swaran similar to swar jati what in a musical structure has no sahitya or words the piece is basically sung with the solfa symbols only next is kirtan that is there the kirtan has its birth about the later half of the 14th century who are it is valued for devotional content of sahitya sahitya kafi jada focus kiya jata hai the kirtan are basically abound so the bhakti bhav bhakti bhav ko represent ya show karne ki koshish kari jati hai next is kirti that is there it is basically a development for developed another form of kirtan jis tarike se hum north india mein kirtan system word use karte hain same is kirti that is being used basically it is a devotional music that is laced with a poetic beauty music hoga along with the poetic beauty the composition that would be there next is pad pad are basically the scholarly compositions in that are there in telugu or tamil they are basically slower tempo love songs referring to the human yearnings in for his adorn god next that is important is jawali in contrast to the padas which basically portray the divine love jawalis are basically the songs which are sensuous in concept and in spirit also basically they are uh, faster tempoed love songs which basically uh, with a direct descriptions of the human love that is being presented next is tilana tilana basically said it corresponds to tarana of the hindustani music jaise hindustani music mein tarana bolte hain yahan pe tilana hai but it is comparatively short and crisp the phrases which are used are comparatively meaningful phrases which are interspersed with a variety of the meaningless syllables that are also there next is the important personalities which are associated with the carnatic music for example subalakshmi is there basant kumari arya kudi rama is there dr bala murali krishnan md ramanatham shri nivas ayer and gn subramaniam subramaniam these are the important personalities which are basically associated with the carnatic music the types of the carnatic music and the meaning ragam that is there very very important first is for example taram pallavi taram pallavi is basically an elaborate rhythmic and melodic variation in unmeasured sense that is there next is kirtan kirti or kirtanai it is a popular type of the devotional music laced with a uh, poetic beauty that is there varnam kya hota hai they are basically performed at the beginning of the concert and completely composed piece hoga पदम की जब बात करते हैं द स्लोअर टेम्पर्ड टेम्पटेड लव सॉन्ग्स रेफरिंग टू द ह्यूमन इयरनिंग फॉर द अडॉन गॉड हेड नेक्स्ट इज द जवालीज दैट आर देयर द जवालीज दर बेसिकली फास्टर टेम्पटेड लव सॉन्ग्स विद द डायरेक्ट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द ह्यूमन लव विच विल बी मेड इन दिस रिगार्ड नेक्स्ट इज तिलाना तिलाना इज बेसिकली मीनिंगफुल फ्रेज आर इंटरस्पर्स विद वराइटी ऑफ द मीनिंग लेस एबल्स दैट आर देयर folk music that is being presented is alha madhya pradesh ka hai ball is basically of the bengali bengal ka bhagwati basically uh, karnataka and maharashtra region mein kafi jada famous hai and emotional songs close to ghazals are basically being run next is dandiya ras gujarat region associated with the holi and leela of krishna and radha Kailu basically Nagaland songs about oneself. Helium Lu basically Nagaland ka hai dancing song. Horai Lu basically Nagaland ka hai it is a war song that is there. Ja Jin Ja basically Arunachal Pradesh ka hai sung during the marriage ceremonies. Kongiyam Parva again from Manipur. Lavani is basically from Maharashtra. Mand is from Rajasthan. Nailu is basically from Nagaland. Niyoga is basically from Arunachal Pradesh. Sung basically at the end of the marriage ceremony. 
Ovi is from Maharashtra and Goa. Panihari is from Rajasthan. Pai Song is from Madhya Pradesh. Pandavani from Chhattisgarh based upon Mahabharat. Pavada is from Maharashtra. Sung by the heroes, uh, ballad songs for the heroes of the past, for example, like Shivaji. Pavada. Sohar is basically in Bihar sung during uh, childbirth. Tikir is in Assam. Embodies the teachings of Islam. Assam mein hai. Vanavan is basically in Kashmir sung during the weddings. Next is the musical instruments which are there. Avanadda Vadya. It has basically in the Natya Shastra that has been mentioned. The musical instruments they are basically divided into four categories on the basis of the how the sound is being produced by which instruments. Avanadda Vadya basically persecution instructions or instruments hote hain. Chusira Vadya are basically aerophones, they are basically the wind instruments. Gana Vadya is basically idiophones, solid instruments which do not require tuning. Tata Vadya, chordophones, basically the string instruments that are there. The first is Avanand or basically Avanada Vadya, basically persecution instruments which are there. ज्यादा इनके अंदर जाने में जरूरत नहीं है बस पता होना चाहिए कि कैसे है एग्जांपल क्या है फॉर एग्जांपल तबला मृदंगम डोल ड्रम एंड कोंगो तबला बेसिकली दिस इंपॉर्टेंटली इट इज बेसिकली यूज्ड इन द कवाली एंड आल्सो सूफी म्यूजिशियंस यूज करते हैं इंपॉर्टेंट तबला प्लेयर फॉर एग्जांपल उस्ताद अल्लाह रखा खान एंड इज सन जाकिर हुसैन शाफत अहमद एंड समता प्रसाद इज आर इंपॉर्टेंट Mrindigam, used in the Carnatic music. The earliest mention of Mrindigam is basically found in the Sangam literature where it is known as Tanumai. It is used this. Next is Shushira Vadya. Basically the sound is produced by blowing of the air into a hollow column, hence wind instruments. And the pitch is determined by controlling of the air passage. For example, a flute, for example, shehnai, pungi, harmonium, and nadswaram. These are the important for it. In the context of a flute, it is Hari Parishad Charasya. He was an important master of the flute flutist. Next is harmonium. Over here. It is Shehnai then. Shehnai is basically a tubular instrument. Gradually widens towards the lower end. Legendary the Ustad Bismillah Khan has been given the title of Shehnai King. Other people who are associated with Shehnai are basically Pandit Anantalal, Pandit Daya Shankar and others. Gana Vadya. Earliest music instrument created by men are said to be Gana Vadya or solid instruments which are there. And they were basically used by the tribal people for the folk dance and other things, tribal music and dance. Different forms, for example, are Manjira. Gatak. Jagatam. Where? Tal. These instruments are basically used to produce sound, basically the vibration of the string. Different string instruments are, for example, Veena over here, Sarangai, Hindustani music popular in northern part of the India, Nepal, and Pakistan. Symbols which are uh, instruments which are adopted from the Western music are piano or keyboard, guitar, drums, violin, and bass guitar. So friends, this is about the Indian music which you need to cover. Learn it comprehensively. Question, but a simple or straightforward which you will be able to solve. Thank you very much.